स्टूडेंट्स द बेसिक मोटिव फॉर रनिंग और स्टार्टिंग एनी बिजनेस इज प्रॉफिट मोटिव यूजली द प्रोपराइटर्स और द ओनर्स एम फॉर मैक्सिमम प्रॉफिट दे वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट वेल्थ इन द बिजनेस एंड अर्न मैक्सिमम एंड ह्यूज रिटर्न फॉर दम सेल्वस बट देन बाय नाउ वी नो दैट देर आर सर्टन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विच रन फॉर द वेलफेयर ऑफ द सोसाइटी दे आर कॉल्ड एज नॉन प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन their motive is not to earn profit but to provide service and welfare to the public in general or to a very large section in the public only so now what are non profit organizations they are organizations used for welfare of society and are set up as charitable institutions by charitable institution we mean that the motive is not to earn profits with a particular function and without any profit motive so we can say that the main objective the main objective of these organization is welfare of society welfare of people or a particular section of society now students let us understand various examples of non profit organizations you know about charitable hospitals they don't charge much or some of them actually work on no cost basis so these hospitals would be categorized as not for profit organizations as they are charitable institutions and they do not have any profit motive many schools are run on charitable basis you have sports clubs you have public libraries they are all examples of not for profit organizations remember students from accounting point of view since we are dealing with accounts from accounting point of view the basic rules of accounting are same that is every transaction would be recorded it would have double effect ledger posting is done final accounts are drafted but there are some basic fundamental differences like for example most of these non profit organizations they do not manufacture anything they are not part of trading activity they actually provide services so as such there are no accounts which relate to production activity then since the profit motive is different profit motive is not there at all usually we do not prepare profit and loss account but the same entries that are there in profit and loss account are passed in another account which is known as income and expenditure account then students usually capital or the money invested is not reflected as capital it is generally shown as capital fund in which all the capitalized reserves are shown right that means those returns or those donations or the receipts that we have or the profits or we should not say profit all the surpluses that we generate during a particular year are added to that capital fund since the objective is not to earn profit so the owners do not actually write it as capital they it is written as capital fund so now students let us come to features of non profit organizations